Hi everyone, welcome to Glow with Grace. I am excited to share a lullaby with you again today. I haven't shared any favorite lullabies for quite a while. And I thought today I would share with you the one that I actually use every night to help Araya get to sleep. Um, for some reason I started singing this one when she was really little and it's just kind of stuck, it just works for some reason. It's a very old Icelandic um, lullaby by a guy called Jonas Arnason. I think, I don't know when it's from, I think it's like from like the 1600s maybe or something. Someone correct me if you know. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to live in Iceland for about three and a half years and I absolutely love it there. I would be there in a heartbeat if um, it wasn't cold in the winters, I can't stand the cold anymore. So um, when I lived there, a friend of mine used to sing this all the time, this lullaby, and I just think it's so beautiful. Um, I think I mentioned at the beginning of ever doing any of these lullaby videos, that um, a lot of lullabies seem to me to have kind of strange lyrics. Um, you know, they're kind of eerie things and stuff. And there is one line in this lullaby that is a little bit odd. <laughs> um, it's a, you know, it's talking a lot about kind of nature and things that the, the child wants to do and stuff like that. But at the end of every chorus, it says, and outside there's a face at the window. And I've never really understood what that meant. So if anyone's watching this, Icelandic people who know what that's about, then let us know. Um, other than that, I just think it's like, it's really, and obviously if you don't speak Icelandic, you don't even know like where that line is or, you know, I, I maybe just ruined that for you. <laughs> but you didn't need to know that. But uh, yeah, I just think this is really beautiful and it works. That's the most important thing. Araya just goes off to sleep every single night with this one. There's actually another Icelandic lullaby that I sometimes use as well. Maybe I'll do another video on that sometimes, but anyway, here we go. <clears throat> it looks to me like there's um, five verses. I just pulled up the lyrics on the internet. I only sing four verses, so I don't know the fifth one, and uh, let's see if I can actually read it properly when we get to the fifth one, but if I mess up the words on the fifth one, you know why. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and I want to say one more thing. Sorry, I forgot. Um, in the chorus, there's a line that says uh, something like, I'm rocking my little friend or something, you know, like rocking the baby to sleep. And uh, instead of saying that, I say I'm rocking Araya to sleep, but I'm going to sing it with the original lyrics here. Okay. <clears throat> Fljótt så stendig 
So there you go. Um, I usually sing it slower than that to a riot and I sing it like very low and quiet and I think she like feels the vibe because she nurses to see. She feels like the vibration through my body into her body and somehow that just really helps to soothe her down to sleep. Um, some of you might recognize this song if you're Sigaros fans. Um, Sigaros did a version of this. Um, they didn't use all the words. This is like the whole thing, including the bit that I couldn't quite get in the fifth verse. Um, and, I, you know, I don't expect, <laughs> I don't know if anyone will be able to use this for themselves, but maybe you could even just use the tune, you know, like if you just, you could like hum along to the tune because, you know, it just seems to be really effective somehow. It's the one that always works. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Ciao.